Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to another Daily Dice where we get your daily message and see what's going on. Know that these are general readings so please take what resonates and leave what does not knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing it does allow me an opportunity to connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into your Daily Dice message. So source. What is a daily dice for my fellow humans that chose this video today? What is the daily dice message source? What would you like them to know? What messages do you have for them? What is today's daily dice? Mercury, third house, and Capricorn. Mm. So I'm just going to ask the question, who do you need to talk to? You're not sharing your truth with somebody. There's something that you feel... There's something you need to say. There's something that needs to come out. So who do you need to talk to that's very close to you? This is a sibling. This is a peer. This is a friend. This is someone who's close to your heart. Okay? And you have yet to communicate something with them, especially with this Capricorn energy. You know, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. It's that tough love energy. It's almost like you're afraid to say something here because you're afraid of hurting feelings. Okay, or vice versa, maybe you had a, a really close friend or a sibling come to you and tell you something that may hurt your feelings, and you're not, you're in a place of being hurt rather than saying, hey, this hurt my feelings, I would rather, you know, let's talk about this, this more, right? So whichever side resonates with you, know that there's a need, regardless, to communicate your truth here at this time. Whether that's written form, whether that's in spoken form, whether that's through text message. You know, I never encourage text message, especially when it's how you feel. It's always better to get face to face and say it. And that way then, you know, you can gauge reactions right there on the spot. And it doesn't allow people to have time to manipulate a message to you. They have to answer you on the spot. So that's just something that I encourage, but it's however you choose to do it is the right way for you. So make sure you use your discernment and your intuition here, okay? There is this energy here, you know, when we're dealing with the third house, we're dealing with close family, right? Short distance. This is someone who we went to school with. This is someone who we are friends with. This is someone that we're siblings with. This is, this is that type of energy, okay? There's also this mind element coming through here. You have Gemini energy and Mercury. Mercury rules Gemini. It's third house. They're all connected here. Capricorn's the one, the oddball out here. That's okay. Capricorn is all about being determined, right? It's the strategic energy, being determined and being strategic in your approach to this. And being responsible is the main thing that's coming through here with this Capricorn energy. Like, it's your responsibility to tell people how you feel and not to bottle that up inside. Remembering that if we're bottling it up because we're triggered, we're not healing. Even if saying what we need to say feels difficult and uncomfortable, we're actually growing when we lean into that discomfort. Right? And I know that's easier said than done. Absolutely. If it weren't, if it were easier, more people would do it right? And so it's just remembering that you're doing something that not a lot of people do, but it's also for your well-being. It's not to start an argument. This is not to argue with them about it. It's just to truly voice what you need to voice here, whether that's a concern, your truth. There's something you need to tell them. There's some sort of discussion that needs to be had here. And knowing that when you show up in a strategic way saying, okay, look, this is how I feel from the situation. You're not saying you made me feel this way. Even if that's how it feels, it's more or less because they're your emotions. You're taking responsibility for your emotions saying, you know, this happened when you came to me, this happened and I feel like X, Y, Z. And I would really like for us to discuss this so that we can find common ground. You know, take it as it resonates, but do what feels right for you. But that one thing about saying I feel is a way for you to take off them feeling like the victim and you feeling like the victim or feeling like you're singling them out for some reason because you're not. And I don't feel like that's what this is. I feel like there's a trigger that was had and you're trying to, to deal with it. But at the same time, the only way to deal with this particular trigger, instead of keeping it bottled up, is to voice it out. And we have that very clearly here with 
um, Mercury in your reading. Okay? This is a learning time for you. This is something that is going to take you showing up for. Okay? This makes me feel like you're about to let go of something that has been holding on to you for a long time. And I, I can only say from personal experience, you know, I had a family member way back when who really treated me like, like I wasn't family. Okay, like they really treated me like I wasn't family. And this was somebody who everybody in the family looked up to. And long story short, I was having a really hard time because I had to go and visit them. And when I was visiting them, they were trying to walk all over me. And I was in this process of learning how to stand up for myself on my own spiritual journey. And in doing so, I had to tell them how I felt. And how I felt was, look, blood doesn't matter to you. You've made that very apparent in the way that you treat me, in the things that you said to me. And because you've made it so apparent that blood doesn't matter, I'm telling you now that when it comes to my life, it does not matter. You don't have a right to ask me about my personal life anymore. And I said that. And I remember when I said that to them, my hands were all clammy. My, I was shaking. My heart was beating so fast. I was short of breath. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I can't say this. Like, I'm not going to say this. I can't. And it was like my intuition won, right? My spirit won on that one rather than my ego, which was making me feel the fear and my intuition is like, you need to say this for your own well-being. And that's exactly what this situation feels like right now. My hands are freezing right now, by the way, which is weird because it's actually really warm here. They got cold and I can feel it. It's almost like the blood draining from your face. Like, I don't know if I can do this. Take it from me. You can and you will be so much stronger for doing it. It's always that first time, that initial time that's the scariest. Okay, and that's exactly what this feels like. This is an initial time for you. This is this is like that next level step for you that you need to so that you can continue on with your growth, your internal growth to become the best version of yourself. You know, and, and we're not we're not in the business of saving face for people. We're in the business of being honest for the purpose of being just that honest. Okay, it's not to argue. And and we have Mars coming out on the bottom here, okay? Move forward and defend self. So again, that energy, there's a need to defend yourself. There's a need to say something. Now with Mars, it is saying to not come at it from an aggressive point. There's no reason to start a fight here. You know, and I, I feel like it's not that you want to start a fight, like you know you need to say this, but you're afraid that saying this is going to start a fight. I feel like that's what's coming through. You know, when I said that to my family member, I really imagined every worst possible thing that was going to come out. Like they were going to start using things from the past against me. They were going to say all these crazy things to me. But it was so weird when I said it. It was like they were just like, OK, well, if that's how you feel. And I was like, yeah, it is how I feel. And then that was the end of it. And that was it. Yeah, see, you're trying to show up from a place of being kind, but really what's happening is you're being nice, and being nice makes you a doormat, okay? There's a difference from being kind and being nice, all right? Yeah, Venus, we have give and receive love, find value, and see beauty. Like, this is something that you want equal give and take from, okay? But remember, you're creating your life, and they're creating your life, and you're coming together with two people coming together you can't control everything outside of you. Your only thing that you can control is you. And you're creating a pearl inside, right? Your soul is coming through as this beautiful pearl here. And you want to give and receive love equally. But if you're in a situation where that's not happening, you have to find value in yourself and see the beauty in this tough situation, which is that you're learning a very valuable lesson about yourself. I can't, I can't, I can't. I didn't know this is what came out. What was I saying? You want to give and take, give and receive love equally. And then we have equality with seahorse. Number 14, 14 equals five. That is the number of change here, right? This feels like there's someone in your energy. You're just trying to be your best self. This feels like somebody who's encroaching upon your boundaries. This feels like someone who's stepping on toes. This feels like someone who's coming in and causing a lot of havoc. Look at all this turbulence in the water here. Okay. But instead of looking away and hoping that they'll go away, it's time for you to face them and say, hey, this is not going to fly anymore. And say what you need to say. It's necessary at this time. And you're going to feel 
at first it's going to be scary, but the minute you get it off your chest, you're going to feel like a whole brand new person. Okay, like a brand new person. So this is what I have for you. If it resonates, hit that thumbs up button down below. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. And until next time, stay human. Bye.